Hey, Trevor Matthews here. I hope you're having a fantastic evening. I had quite a few people ask me, how does oil feed the bearings in a semi-hermetic co uh, compressor? So I thought it'd be a great video to, to shoot. So here is a crankshaft out of a Copeland 6D compressor. So on this end would be the oil pump. There are positive displacement oil pumps. So it actually forces oil through the crankshaft to feed the connecting rods. The connecting rods would go here and the connecting rods would connect to the pistons that pump uh, the refrigerant. And then back here are your main bearings. And then you have a stator. And then you have your rotor that's connected to the crankshaft right here. Okay, so when the compressor starts up, it doesn't matter what direction, it starts to force oil into this little groove right here. And then in the groove, there is a hole right there. So it's drilled into there. So it's forcing oil into this point. You'll see up here, there's a little plug. This plug is drilled all the way through the crankshaft. And there's actually a little magnet that's on the plug to collect any metal that might be in the oil, which I thought was pretty cool. And then you can see maybe a little bit here. So you can see that it's drilled all the way through that crankshaft and then it feeds these journals. So this is where the connecting rods would be that go to your pistons. There's three there, there's three more there, and then it gets to your back bearings. There's actually, if you can see there, a little copper plating on this one. And so as that compressor runs and it pumps oil through there to feed those journals, those bearings, to keep them lubricated, keep them moving. When you do not have any lubrication there, you start to get a seized uh, components on there. And, and it's going to cause a lot of issues in the field. So make sure you always check the net oil pressure and make sure it's correct in the range 25 to 40 50 psid and you take your net oil pressure so you connect to your pump so on the pump you would connect to the side of the fitting on the pump and you would take away what the crank pressure is where the pistons are and you would do that equation and you'd like to see 30 40 psi i'd love to hear your questions or comments my name is trevor matthews let's get a conversation going